Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. Let's change up the EDC for the summer. It's right around the corner. I like mixing things up. This is my summer EDC for 2023. Now, as I mentioned before, I think that there's tier one, tier two, different EDCs when it comes to things that you carry every day, stuff that you carry maybe in your tech bag, might be a part of your backpack EDC. And then there's things that are actually on your person, on your body. I consider that to be tier one EDC. If you want to check out my actual backpack that I use for everyday carry, click the video. I'll, make, I'll link that up down for you below as well. Let's talk about the things that we're carrying for the summer let's start off with something a little bit different first we got to talk about my watch it is all in your face this is the ben roos dtu 2 ap this is a field watch this is originally issued this is a reissue watch this is originally issued for vietnam soldiers so that they can use big dials in the field and they can see everything that they needed to see. I love watches that have big faces on them, whether they're a field watch, they're a dive watch, whatever the case may be, this thing has the specs to boot. This is by Ben Roos, fantastic company when it comes to making fields type watches. Has a little compass on here, 39.5 millimeter case diameter. The case thickness is nice and thick at 12.8 millimeters, nice domed kind of bevel on here as well. The outer bigger numbers are 12 hour span, the 24 hour or, or the world clock is on the inner dials. So moving on to my next item, we got to talk about the actual knife. This is the Benchmade bailout. And I'm starting to believe that the bailout is my favorite Benchmade significantly more than it comes to the bug out. Now, I'll be honest with you, I've never really been a Tanto style of knife guy. You know, I really prefer a drop point or a clip versus a Tanto, but I finally pulled the trigger on the bailout and I really enjoy this thing. This thing's about 3.38 inches. Make sure it's legal in your state before you run out and buy it. Make sure it's legal in your country, et cetera. 2.7 ounces, super light, not as light as a bug out. I'm reading these specs off to you, but I'm telling you when it comes to a knife, you really don't need more than D2. But if you want something a little bit more premium, then yes, you can go for something like a CPM M4, an S30V, something like that. It's gonna be maintain its hardness more, have a better edge retention but you don't need to spend as much money on a knife. I'm giving you ideas about your carry. You don't have to run out and duplicate the same thing that I do, but if you want to, links will be down below. Make sure you check those out. Now, moving on to my EDC flashlight, I am rocking the Nightcore EDC 27. This thing has been something else. First off, when it comes to my pockets, I've basically gotten away from in my actual pockets running cylinder or tube style flashlights, nothing but flats. I've done a whole video about that. I'll link that up above for you if you wanna check that out. But I'm all about the flats now when it comes to flashlights. And this is also another flat style flashlight. Now, let's talk about some things I don't like about this thing. And then we're gonna just talk about the things I like. First of all, I don't need all this labeling on this thing, okay? That's great, 1700 milliamp hour battery, the wattage, the current, that, that's fantastic. I get it, that's great. I'm, I'm proud of you but I don't need all that labeling on my actual flashlight. Also the pocket clip, when it's in your pocket, it doesn't quite sit deeply. This whole top part does hang out your pocket and you can definitely tell that it's there. You can accidentally engage the switch, but this does have a lock on it, which is fantastic, which starts to lead me to some of my favorite things of this thing. First of all, it has a fantastic OLED screen on this thing. It tells you how many minutes you got left in the mode that you're using. It has 15 lumens, 65, 200, 1000, in a 3000 lumen turbo type mode, strobe modes. This thing has over five different modes you can use. But when it comes to this flashlight, it comes in handy for all sorts of stuff. You know, if you're trying to look under a couch, if you're trying to look maybe beneath a bed, or if you're trying to do maintenance on your lawnmower in a dark garage or, you know, maybe on the side of a house. Speaking of doing maintenance on your lawn equipment, that brings us to today's sponsor, HIPAA. HIPAA is a 
makes products and offers services for home and garden enthusiasts. Listen, I used them to fix up some old lawn equipment that I had that was darn near ancient. An edger that I had, a lawnmower needed some work, an air, a carburetor needed to be cleaned out, an air filter, some spark plugs. They got everything that you need, especially if you like to be outdoors and DIY your lawn or your garden yourself. Hippo makes parts for small engines and also great platform for any DIY repairs for source parts for lawn care, machines, gasoline, generators, chainsaws, all of that good stuff, man. I got a chainsaw that needed some work. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go to hippastore.com and actually check out and see if they have what they need, what you need to actually make improvements on your lawn or garden equipment or your generator. Before you just run out and get rid of it and get a new one, check out their store. They have way more parts than you could ever imagine. Shout out to HippaStore.com for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check them out. Moving on to my next item when it comes to requirements for EDC, hands down has to be the Axwell wallet. Listen, the Axwell wallet, I kind of was not the biggest fans of them when I first checked them out, but the wallet has a lot more tricks than you could ever imagine. First of all, it has a fantastic aluminum build on it. It does have a cash strap, which is kind of already built in. So if you don't want to use the actual money clip and purchase that, you can just use, stick cash here or you can get the money, the money clip that they actually offer on their website. It's super modular. So if you want to take this thing off, change it out, maybe change the color of it, whatever the case may be, it changes out so incredibly easy and it's very easy to actually get to your cards and get the one that you need out. You just kind of pull it out here, you're good to go, use whatever you need. So all in one place, you can store coins, cards, and cash and make everything very easy, especially with their little coin accessory, which I don't use. I don't really like the noise of coins moving around in my pocket, but it is handy if you wanna have some coins with you. So we're gonna try this thing out once again. The biggest thing that brought me back to Axwell is that for every wallet that you purchase, they're actually donating money to veterans organizations. They offer military discounts. They offer first responder discounts. They have relatively good pricing on their website compared to some of their competitors. So I guess I might say that I'm eating crow when it comes to my thoughts about Axwell. I don't know, man. We'll rock this out for the summer to see if this is going to be the last time I rock with them. Maybe we'll move on from them. We shall C. Speaking of possibly being the last time I rock with something, that brings me to the Orbit Key Key Organizer. Listen, a lot of people love this thing, especially my boy Ron Kwok. Make sure you go check him out. He attests to this thing a lot. I've just not been the biggest fan of the fact that you need an actual tool to engage with this slotted fastener with this actual flathead here. You need a slotted screwdriver to actually take this thing apart. But you know what? It is something I'm going to give another try because it is very, very sleek looking. It is very minimalistic. And compared to the key bar systems that I just stopped using, I'm actually able to fit my large scale key for my truck in here with no issues whatsoever. That's that's coupled with the magnet by key bar, which is an incredibly strong magnet, which allows for me to detach my key fob, my uh, emergency cash system from wingback. So I'm using a trifecta of key stuff. I know freaking I hate myself. I hate myself. I don't use one brand. I use the stuff that's most effective for me. Orbit key for the main key organization, key bar magnet so that I can quickly engage and take off the actual keys. And then we have the cash system by wingback where I have an emergency $20 bill stored in here just in case I ever need it. So I don't think I can ever get rid of the wing back and the, and the key bar magnet. They seem to always go whatever key system I'm using. And something that's always coming along with me is a hero clip. Now I'm saying that this is a on body carry. This is a big ass hero clip to be an on body carry, but this is an critical carry for me because I like the fact that I can take this. If I'm gonna, uh, I'll clip this to a belt loop. I have small children, so if I ever need to clip diaper bags, I always clip it to my belt. Easy for me to just come, clip this here. It frees up my hand so I can complete the task. I am that dad that is bringing the groceries in in one trip. 
This is the one trip grocery machine. Keep this thing nearby. You're gonna be able to clip everything in one. That's my EDC for the, for the summer, man. My on body tier one EDC for the summer. I mean, it's pretty concrete, no pouch right now for the summer. Maybe I'll add that to a bag, whatever. But this is very streamlined. I can wear this in basketball shorts, sweats, jeans, chinos, whatever I'm wearing, this makes it easy. Comment down below, what am I missing? There's no multi-tool. There is no pocket trash. What am I missing? There's not a pry bar freaking. Let me know your thoughts down below. What would you add to this EDC? Am I missing something? Are you doing it better than me? If this is your first time stopping by, hit that subscribe button down below. We would love to have you a part of the battalion. If this is not your first time stopping by, well, thank you once again for stopping by and watching me run my grape. Put Eat Crow, Eat Crow in the comments down below. I will heart your message because I might be eating crow when it comes to this Axwell wallet and my thoughts for that. That's all I got. It's time to go.